Again, John 8, 12, Jesus says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is why today, the church, the people of God, the Christians in this world, they're still in darkness because they're not following Christ. They're not following the ways of Jesus Christ. They're not following what he says in his word. That's why you're still in darkness. That's why they're still walking in darkness. Because they're not following Jesus. But we know. Let's flip. 2 Timothy 2.19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are His. God knows those who are His. And let every one, every one, everyone in the name of the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Everyone, so if you're saying that you're a Christian, you're saying I'm a child of God or I'm a Christian or I belong to Jesus, depart from iniquity. And let every one, this is everyone in the name of the name of Christ. So many people these days saying I'm a Christian or I belong to God, I believe in Jesus. Well, John 12, 46, if you believe in him, you would not abide in darkness. John 12, 46, Jesus says, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. So if you don't want to say I'm a Christian, if you just say, oh, I believe in Jesus, well, if you believe on Jesus, you won't abide in darkness. And we know that believing is faith. And faith without works is dead. So if your faith in God, if you have faith in God, but you're not doing anything for Christ Jesus, you're not following him, you're not walking in the light, it's dead. You're dead and you're still in darkness. 2 Timothy 2, 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his and let it ever. Depart from iniquity. Everyone. Whoever you are, if you're naming the name of Christ and that you're Christian, I'm saying I'm a believer. Depart from iniquity. Depart. You won't walk in darkness. Follow Christ, you'll be away. Arise. John 8, 12. This made Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. This made Jesus unto them, saying, This made Jesus again unto them, saying, This is what Jesus spake again unto them, saying, So, amen. Again, he's telling you. He's saying this now. This makes Jesus again into the saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. If you follow Jesus, you would not, would not, shall not, cannot walk in darkness. Because Jesus is not darkness, but he is the light. John 12, 46, Jesus says, I am come a light unto the world, that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. So, everyone out there saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. Oh, I'm saved. What? What are you saved from? Can you just ask that question, what did Jesus come to save you from? Do you even know what Jesus came to save us from? Do you know? You say, I'm saved, I'm saved. What, what are you saved from? What? Matthew 121, Jesus lets us know that he came to save us from our sins. So, everyone in the name of the name of Christ, apart from iniquity, iniquity is sin. So if you're saying, I'm saved, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. Well, you need to depart from sin. You need to depart from iniquity.
iniquity. Because Jesus, the Bible says in Matthew 1, 21, that Jesus came to save his people from their sins. So, everybody these days want to say, I'm saved, I'm a Christian. Well, you need to depart from iniquity. Whoever, whoever names the name of Christ, let that one depart from iniquity. Whoever you are, Jesus is coming back. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast out the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. The Lord Jesus is light. We know that because we just read in John 8, 12 and John 12, 46 that Jesus is the light. He came alive into the world. Whoever believeth in him, whoever follow him, you will not be in darkness. But that's why so many of the Christians and believers are in darkness because they're not following Jesus, but they're just naming the name of Christ, saying, I'm a Christian. Well, if you say that, depart from iniquity. <coughs> depart from iniquity. Second Timothy 2.19, nevertheless, foundation of God stand of sure having this seal. This is a seal. Lord knoweth them that are his and let every one, everyone, please get the Bible and read this for yourself and let everyone, the name of the name of Christ, depart from iniquity. I'm saved. Depart from iniquity. That's what Jesus came to save us from our sin. Romans 13, verse 11 to 14. And that knowing the time that now, right now, right now, and then knowing the time that now it is high time to do what? Awake out of sleep. Awake out of sleep. Knowing the time is time for me to go club, it's time for me to go party, it's time for me to do what am I what my flesh wanna No! Not what your flesh wanna do. And then now, and that knowing the time that now it is time to awake out of sleep. Not go fulfill the desires and what you want to do with your flesh. No! It's time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. When you cast off something, you no longer have it on. You throw it away. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And we know according to John 8, 12 and John 12, 46, Christ is light. So we have to put on the armor of light. That's what we need to put on. It's time to wake out of sleep. Jesus is coming. Our salvation is and when we believe. And he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Jesus is coming. Romans 13, 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. So don't do any of these things. But the Bible says, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make not provision. None. Not one. Not provision. Not and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So we're told in the Bible. This is what Jesus is saying in his word. Away. Get out of your sleep. Cast off your works of darkness. Everything that you've done been doing wrong. Cast it off. Put on me. The Lord Jesus. The armor of light. Jesus is the light. <clears throat> Let us walk earnestly as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness. We should not be walking in rioting and drunkenness. We should not be walking in chambering and wantonness. We should not be walking in strife and envy, but we should put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Don't give your flesh any 
time. Follow Jesus. Put on Jesus Christ. He is the light. And whoever follow Him will not walk in darkness. Whoever believeth on Him will not abide in darkness. Let the less the foundation of God said, sure having this sealed Lord, know of them that are His, and let everyone in the name of, the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Everyone. I'm saved. Well, Jesus came to save you from your sin. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor.